Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a basic beginner tutorial on how to use the light map editor in Beat Saber because I haven't really seen a up-to-date tutorial that's not two hours long. This is meant to be very beginner friendly and just to teach the basics of how to use the editor. So to start, I'm just using the basic magic song that Beat Saber has pre-installed and I've set the environment down here to the first just to teach uh, the basics. If I edit difficulty, this is the basic uh, menu where you can do all the notes. In order to get to the light editor, you need to click this light icon right over here. So then that will bring you to this. So basically everything down here is the same as it oh, is basically the same as it is here. Really what you need to worry about is over here. So to start, these are the different color of lights. So red is your it's not really red, it's your secondary color. Blue is your primary color, and then white is always going to be white. So these control the brightness of the light. So let's say I just have, right now I have on 100 selected. If I have all of the lights on, I'll just put them to red. And then we'll go over the this in a minute. So lights on would be 100. So let's say if I have on 50, that would set it to 50% brightness instead of 100. So that number controls the brightness of the lights. And if I did, let's say, blue, that would also do that. It would set it to 50%. The fades, so let's say I had on blue. If I set, right now, if I would set this off to zero, it would just immediately turn off when I hit that note. But instead, if I set it to fade, the light will turn on and slowly fade down to until it hits this block. And then if I fade it to 100 and then set this one to off set this one to off it'll still fade up to the light so that controls that when it depends so you, you have all these lasers these are going to be different depending on the map but I just did the first to show all of the options so now going into the laser speed controls the rotation of the laser so let's say I just have all of these set on um, for right now just to show um, really the only things I think I worry about are the ring rotate and the left and right laser speed. So if you set the ring rotate, the, the way to set this is this number right here, the integer. Is So let's say it's set it to 5. If you set the ring rotate to 5 right here, then it'll rotate. And I don't think the ring rotate is actually affected by the number, but it'll rotate right there. Then the left and right laser speed... So this, right now, you can see the 5 affects it. So that will affect the speed at which they're moving. So another thing you can do with this real quick is if I have, let's say, um, the lasers changing color um, to here, I have, let's say, a couple of these close to each other. And we have that, and then that, and then that. And then I, if I match up the rotate with these lights, That'll kind of create a strobe effect that moves them in a very quick uh, direction. So what I would recommend doing is going into some levels they already have downloaded. And I would recommend looking at their light shows to see what they do. And you can kind of learn off of that. But other than that, that was the basics of how to use this. I hope this helped. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.